Day 17, Wonder 6, Devotion to Mary, Increase Our Intimacy with Christ. St. Louis de Montfranc, he pro proposes this beautiful analogy of Mary. And he compares her to clay. And so he says that Mary is great and unique clay of God. And she's designed to create living images of God with little cost and with a little bit of short time. And that's pretty cool. Because a person who discovers this clay will be able to lose himself in him. In, him, in her, in this case. And so we can be quickly transformed into Jesus. And we know that we will be the perfect clay in this kind of true reproduction of, of who Jesus is. Because when we look at her, when we look at her virtues and her goodness and everything that she's done and been called for is to be led to Jesus Christ. And this is why. And some people say, oh, Mary, don't don't have too much devotion to her. It's only going to get you distance from, uh, from, from Jesus. No, it's exactly the opposite. And we know this from the evidence of all the, the church fathers and the saints and the popes, and even with our devotions we have throughout the years, that is not true. And so there's a little bit of mathematical logic here. Hello. And St. Louis de Montfranc, he helps us guide uh, to find this answer. And and so he says that that our Blessed Virgin Mary, since Mary is a creature who is most conformed to Jesus, he says that the quote, Open quote, the more we are consecrated to Mary, the more perfectly we are united to Jesus Christ. Look at any or ask any father or mother. They're always going to talk about their children more. They're always going to point to them and be proud of them and be so honored to just praise them, right? And so this is something that we can relate to and this is a fact. And so all she wanted to do is not lead everyone to herself but only to her son. And so the ultimate devotion that why we have this intrinsic nature of the church of having Mary in devotion, another reason is that so we can have this intimacy. We're called for intimacy in all of our longings, in all of our addictions. We have this sense of longing and sense of wanting to be loved, wanting to have connection, relationship. And so our mother, mother Mary helps us with her devotion. Entering into the school of Mary, we can find perfect worship of Jesus Christ because this is the best way to get to Jesus. The best way of reaching ourselves to Jesus is entering the school of Mary. It can't be get any easier. And one of the reasons why we don't have a, a lot of followers of Christ and even how, why Jesus isn't known because Mary isn't known. And we have such little knowledge of that. And that's why the church in her wisdom continues to promote this in her devotion. Because the children of God need her. And a saint said, whoever desires to have the fruit of life, which is Jesus Christ, must have the tree of life, which is Mary. And let's even look at history in the 17th century. A bishop, a pre preacher, he said that Christ has honored Mary by annihilating, subjecting himself to her and by communicating with him, man through her. So what do we do? We do what JP2 is suggesting us. He's suggesting that we become children of Mary. We become, we enter into the school of Mary and it takes nothing from our intimacy with Jesus. It only brings us closer. And so rather, it actually helps us increase and leads us to the highest perfection. What is this perfection? Her virtues, her goodness. And we gaze at them because she gazes at us as she looks at Mary. So look at Mary and allow her to help you in a deeper union with Jesus. And allow that love of Mary to also love Christ and his church in the faith and the morals, the teaching of the church. And place our trust in her so that we can be more trusted in Jesus. And we can exclaim those beautiful words of St. Faustina, Jesus, I trust in you. By just looking at Mary. And so that we can love him with our whole being. Just of having this devotion. So my brothers and sisters. Let's increase our devotion. Have our blessed mother more in your life. Maybe have a statue in your room. Maybe have her presence throughout the day. Maybe something small that you can do. After mass. Uh, spending some time. Or uh, ha asking for her heart. As you receive communion. Exchange your heart with hers. As you do certain things, exchange your heart with her so that she can always lead you to Jesus. Be creative with your devotion. 
Um, Because I know that we all need a mother. A mother who helps us become a clay of God, becomes transformed in Jesus. Let us pray. I love you, dear Lord Jesus. Help me to love you with all my heart. Newborn Savior of the world, I trust in you. Mother Mary and St. Joseph, pray for me and for all. Amen.